Spider-Man Miles Morales is packed with so many easter eggs so I thought it would be fitting if I made a top 10 of my favourite easter eggs in the game so far that is as I believe that there are a few that hasn't been discovered yet and I just want to let you guys know that before we begin there's going to be spoilers in this so if you haven't played the game yet I would highly suggest that you complete the story play the game and then come back to the video and also I would highly recommend if you haven't subscribed yet please do so as I continue to deliver more post Spider-Man Miles Morales videos for you guys so if you want more of the consistent and amazing videos, please do so. And don't forget to click on the notification bell in order to not miss any of my future videos. Now starting with number 10, we have the Insomniac logo. Now game developers love to include references about themselves and other projects that they worked on. In Spider-Man PS4, they had the Insomniac building, so it would be fitting that Insomniac would reference themselves in some way in this game and indeed they did as during the rhino mission in the beginning of the game when you're running through the mall rhino uses an o sign to swing from one platform to another that sign indeed being the insomniac logo which you can see so it's a pretty neat and an obvious easter egg towards themselves number nine we have a dazzler and layla cheney reference dazzler is a mutant from the x-men comics who has the ability to convert sound into light and energy beams she's pretty much a musician and also appeared in the dark phoenix movie layla cheney Cheney is also a musician, however her mutant abilities is intergalactic teleportation where she's able to teleport herself and other people and objects into anywhere even across the Milky Way galaxy. The reference is basically in one of the time capsules where you can find two ticket stamps referencing those two characters, most likely confirming that the X-Men is a thing in this universe. At number 8 we have the Into the Spider-Verse ending post where towards the ending of the film where Miles is having his final swing in the end he pretty much makes a relaxing pose where it's also an air trick you can perform after you dive the next easter egg we have we have another time capsule collectible where you can find a graphics card written mastermind x4 which is referenced to another x-men character called mastermind and with x4 referencing the first appearance of the character in x-men number four another time capsule easter egg we have where you can find a real miniature collectible which is an obvious reference to spider-man's most iconic villain the big wheel the fifth easter egg is pretty much a reference outside of the marvel universe however it's pretty cool and that being a doctor who reference now in one of the side missions where you have to find one of these stashes from the underground which is located in one of tombstones location i believe you can find multiple mannequins and when you walk past them and pretty much disable the transmitter and you turn around the mannequins move towards mouse and mouse even questions if those mannequins even moved which is a clear reference to the weeping angels from doctor who come closer every time you turn around and don't look and the only way to stop them is if you look at them they're pretty much one of doctor who's most iconic monsters out there and i really appreciate that reference now the next easter egg is pretty much another into the spider verse reference where in one of the traversal challenges peter sets up for you his hologram pretty much says sometimes you gotta take a leap of faith which is a clear reference to miles morales taking a leap of faith in into the spider verse to find out whether or not he's ready to be spider-man now obviously into the spider-verse didn't really correct the leap of faith saying but it did make it iconic so a w is a w now with number three this contains a little bit of a spoiler but after you defeat finn and after she sacrifices her life for you miles pretty much makes a post which reminded me of one of his comic covers from miles morales the ultimate spider-man number one which is pretty much one of miles's iconic comic covers i don't know if this was intentional or not but that scene pretty much to me at least looked like it was a homage towards that comic even Mars's head tilting towards the left the only difference being is that in the game Mars's costume is pretty much torn off and he's wearing a mask but i think since the lighting is there and also this was a comic cover done before i'm leaning towards the fact that this was indeed intentional and in spider-man ps4 in some light did take many iconic poses from the spider-man comics and it's safe to say that they pretty much did the same thing for miles and number two we have a black panther easter egg now in the first game we also had a reference towards a wakanda specifically the wakandan embassy which when you take a picture peter makes a reference towards t'challa the black panther but however with this one in one of the time capsules you find a flag of wakanda and it's pretty much a neat reference to the iconic marvel character now this game pretty much does a huge tribute to chadwick boseman who played black panther as he passed away a few months ago one of them being when you complete the story there's a passage which reads in loving memory of a noble king 
Chadwick Boseman. His honour, strength and compassion will reverberate for generations to come, Wakanda forever. And another tribute which you can find in the game called Boseman Way, which is another reference to the amazing actor. Before we get to number one, I just want to include some honourable mentions. And number one, Stanley. Now, in the first game, we got an amazing cameo of Stanley, where he was a restaurant owner in Mix. And in Spider Man Miles Morales, when you go to Mix, there's pretty much a statue of Stan. And below it, it says, Dedicated with love to the man who nourished the hearts and minds and souls of true believers everywhere, Excelsior. Even though this is a memorial to his character called Mick in the game, but it's a clear loving tribute to the legend himself. And when you interact with it, you pretty much get a trophy called the best fries in town, which is what Peter and MJ said when they tried out his fries. However, what about you guys? What kind of Easter eggs did you find in Spider-Man Miles Morales? I know that I missed a few, however, these are pretty much my favorites so far. So if you have your own favorites, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. If you enjoyed this video, please like and want more, subscribe to begin Protocol 36.